Waking at 5 a.m. in the morning is not the morning in my house, that's for sure. It is definitely 6.30 to 7 is a reasonable time in my house to be getting up. That brings me to today's question of my toddler is waking at 5 a.m. and getting out of bed. What can I do to make her wake later? Hi, I'm Amanda, founder and co-creator of Little One Sleep Programs. I'm a paediatric sleep specialist and mother to two lovely little girls. At Little Ones, we have our comprehensive online sleep program from babies at newborn age right through to toddler age. And we do this in our custom built app where we have our fantastic sleep and nutrition programs and we also have our amazing customer support village where we have our trained sleep consultants there any time of the day and night to help you through any questions that you may have. Make sure you visit us at www.littleones.co if you need any further help or any information. So today's question is, my toddler is waking at 5 a.m. and getting out of bed. What can I do to make her wake later? So to answer this question, it's really dependent on the age of the toddler as to what you can do. With a younger toddler, first of all, your toddler is getting out of bed. It means that they're in a bed. I would uh, actually put them back in a cot. If they haven't dropped all their naps yet, if they're still having naps, then I would pop them back in a cot and see if that helps first because with um, younger toddlers, especially under the age of two and a half to three, they just, if they're in a big bed, they just don't understand the concept of why they can't get out, you know? What's the problem with getting out of bed once I wake up? They just don't understand that concept. So having the cot with the bars and the that closed environment means that they sort of just feel that that's their safe spot and they know that that is where they sleep without needing to sort of get out and wake you up. So younger toddlers, pop them back into a cot or a crib if they are already in a bed. Also with a younger toddler, the other thing that you might need to check is if they're first of all having a day nap. For a younger toddler under the age of two and a half, three, Certainly, I would make sure that they are having a day nap, but also checking the length of the day nap. If they aren't having any day nap, then that is, they're likely waking at five o'clock because they are so overtired and that they need that day nap to catch back up and make sure that they aren't as overtired and waking at five o'clock in the morning. If they are having day naps, then you want to look at the length of the day nap. Does that day nap now need to be trimmed back a little bit? Are they settling well at bedtime? Are they taking a long time to go to sleep at bedtime now? Are they waking at five o'clock in the morning? All of those things are signs that that day nap needs to be trimmed back a little bit. So after about three years old, if your baby or toddler is still having a day nap and they're waking at five, then now is the time where I would look at cutting the nap at least some days to see if that encourages your toddler to sleep closer to seven in the morning. As I said, 6.37 in the morning is sort of a reasonable time to be waking up. If you have an older toddler and they understand now um, the concept of say like a, a sleep training clock, then you that's a really good time to introduce a sleep training clock and really encourage them to understand the concept of that, you know, might be a sun and a moon, that they don't get out of bed until the sun comes up. Now, if you're toddler has started waking at five, you're going to, you can't just automatically set the sun to seven o'clock and expect them to stay in bed and for that two hours, you are going to need to give them an achievable goal. Put the sun clock at 10 minutes or five minutes past five o'clock 
and get them to stay in bed until then and just make out that they have done the most absolutely amazing thing of one, once they do stay in bed until the sun comes up with the clock. After a couple of days, set the time a few minutes later, you know, five, ten minutes later and later until they understand that concept and keep moving that time closer to being 6.30, 7 o'clock where you uh, have a reasonable wake up time. With a younger toddlers, if you are trying to get them to go back to their cot or bed, I would look at doing in the mornings silent returns. I would take them silently back to their bed, put them in, don't talk, don't give them water, don't give them food or anything, just take them straight back to their bed and then walk out. The least amount of uh, stimulation that a baby or toddler gets at that time of the morning will keep their brain sort of less stimulated and more likely to go back to sleep. So keep things quiet, calm, no talking, no drinks, no food, anything to stimulate that brain will help them wake up and, and encourage that five o'clock waking. That is what you can do with a younger toddler, as it would have been through before. The older toddler, you're gonna to want to look at using a sleep training clock. I hope that answers your question of how to get your toddler to sleep past five o'clock. And as always, if you liked this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified of videos just like this one.